got out and seeped out already. So we go ahead and nip this in the bud. All right. Now, I love, I love fashion. Don't get me wrong, but that's not the reason for for the bow tie. Uh, Neil, I got my first job when I was 14 years old. So, first job, I was working at a hot dog stand in Mobile, Alabama, named Al's Hot Dogs. Okay. So, David, my mom gets ready to leave. At this time, she's working. She's over financial aid at one of the colleges back home in Alabama. She's getting ready to go to a conference. So, Daniel, there were some new shoes getting ready to come out. I go to my mama, ask her those typical, hey, mom, can I have those shoes? She gives me the mom one-on-one answer. What do you think? Money grown trees. No, you can't get these shoes. You think I'll pay $150 for some shoes? Yeah, they were Jordans, and I wanted these shoes. So I said, okay, you don't have to get them. I'm going to go get a job. Mom always said, your job is to go to school. That's it. So, all right, she left. I started looking for a job. Nobody will hire me, Joe. Can you believe it? Nobody will hire the kid, man. So I'm going around. Okay. I, it's, not okay. it's not okay. Thank you. It, it, I felt like it was my fault, Michael. Thank you. <laughs> I was hurt. It made, look, Ms. Bernadette, what I felt like, the owner of a grocery store, I go in, right, and he says, listen, well, maybe if you get a letter from your parents, then somebody will possibly hire you. I go home, and I write this letter. <laughs> and I'm so, I'm so smart at the time that I put my mom's cell phone number on the letter, Josh. Put a cell phone number, because I'm thinking that's going to put the seal on it. You know, like that's the official <laughs> statement. You know, I kind of sign her name, right. Catherine P. Ryan. Yeah, you know, put the cell phone number on there. Go in the ass hot dogs. Miss Yvonne, lady behind the counter, takes the letter. She walks upstairs, comes back downstairs with the cordless phone. I hear my mom screaming through the cordless phone. <laughs> she passes me the phone. Matt, I pass it right back to her. I don't, I don't want none of that that's on the other end of that phone. I know what it is. So, ironically, she convinced my mom for me to work there. And it was so amazing. Like, I had never met this lady Michael day in my life. And she was like, he's such an amazing young man. I mean, she was really politicking to get me to sell these hot dogs, right? So I ended up working there two years. While I'm there, there was a gentleman by the name of Larry. Larry was homeless. Larry would show up every morning to the restaurant to help us take the trash out. At the end of each evening, we would sit all the trash at the front of the restaurant. So when we open the first day, that would be the first thing we do, take the trash out, get everything out. Larry was there. This one day, Larry came up to me, and he asked me for a dollar. Gave Larry that dollar, and it was two things that I learned from Larry that day. First thing I learned from Larry was never judge a book by its cover. Even though Larry was homeless, he was a brilliant individual. He had graduated from one of the premier schools in the city, went on to college, had a great job, lost his job and family, fell subject to alcohol. And at that time, he hadn't seen his son in over 15 years. <coughs> Second thing I learned from Larry that day was how to fold a dollar. He said he always wanted to teach his son how to fold a dollar. And I remember sitting there on the curb with Larry Jeff almost two hours learning how to fold that dollar. And when me and Larry got done folding the dollar, the dollar was a bow tie. I wear bow ties every day to remind me to stay humble. And the things that I've been blessed with can be taken from me just like that. So that's the reason why I wear bow ties. And those of you who know me, they know I wear bow ties every day. Wearing with shorts, it don't matter. <laughs> <laughs> I, go, I go hunting, I got Mazzy Oak bow ties, I got all that. A fun fact, got over 300 bow ties, you know, so it's been for a long time. But that's, that's, that's the bow tie story, all right? So are we ready for conference right now? Are we ready to do some coaching? Yes, thank you, Pete. Are we ready to do some coaching? Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about, y'all. I'm telling you, you got to make it. This is the fun part right here. This is the fun part. So we are getting ready to rock and roll. So we got Chooch Scooch. He's going to be coaching us and giving us real-time feedback. <laughs> Chooch the Scooch, baby. So he's going to be giving us real-time feedback. So what I'm saying with that, guys, as you go through the process, you may be on a roll. You may be on a roll. So I just want to get everything set up for you, okay? As we go through this, you may be on a roll, and 
we've already identified the parts that we're going to be covering and who's going to be covering what. So let's say Andrew's going through money mine and he's flowing and he's getting ready to go in and we call time. It's not the fact that you're messing up, but you may be going over into what somebody else is getting ready to do coming up. Okay, so does that make sense? So if we cut you off. I don't want you to feel like, oh, I no, no, no. We just want to give everybody an opportunity to be the best that they can be within their role. Secondly, if you have questions when you come to the hot seat, when you come over to the hot seat, definitely want to ask. So, guys, if you're not, you know what I'm saying, you don't have to stay at your desk. Have your notepad, wheel around over here, get in this area. This is a safe zone, comfortable space. We're going to all come in here. You will sit here at the, um, across from the clients, okay? Have those conversations. If you find a place where you've gotten to a wall, all you got to say is, Mark, can you tee me up? Or can I get a lifeline, okay? And that's why we're all in the room together. We're all in here to help each other, okay? So does that make sense? So even if you don't have a clue about what you got to do when it get to your part, walk up here confidently. Flop down like you're ready to do it and say, throw me a lifeline, okay? <laughs> it's okay. We're here to help you, all right? So don't want anybody to worry. Phone a friend. We are here to help you. All right, so our value prop, I left this one blank for a reason. I wanted you guys to hear Mark just do it one more time, go through the intro and that value prop piece. Really want you like to tap into this and pay attention, understand, because like when we talk through it this morning, it may seem like it is longer than what it is, but I really want you just to pay attention to that one best financial life as he uses some of, you know, the whole PowerPoint deck if he chooses to. You want me to? Nah. Okay. So he's going to go, and that's what I'm saying. So guys, remember, because how much of this do you have to use? None. How much can you use? All of it, right? That's the flexibility of it. What I want you to see is how Mark tees it up with the value prop, like without even touching this, because like he said, he can do it with the first two slides, right? And, if that, and uh, give yourself an opportunity to make it your own. All right, so does that make sense? And then after that, we'll be going into Andrew and Jeff be taking us through our money minds. All right, so guys, this is... Mr. Jeff, and this is Ms. Corey, our amazing clients who have offered to come and be a part of this training process with us. Okay, so as such, we're getting ready to, to kick off. Any questions before we get started? What you got, sir? So Jeff and Corey are new prospects, so we don't have to do the reframe for clients. Mm -hmm. So what do you want me to do for them? Just the normal intro. Okay. Yep. Because we didn't, yeah, not, right. Because we didn't talk to that this morning. Okay. All right. Ready to rock and roll?